Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Last time we had just the most fabulous Eden run you can ever imagine. Um, and this time, let's do some Tainted Keeper. I'm feeling Tainted Keeper right now. I'm not using the randomizer right now, I don't really know why. Um, but I'm kind of playing some characters I just, just feel like playing. Uh, I'm going to take some risks here and um, go like that. Try and get a sack room play early. Of course, it could mean I just die right here, but luckily that hasn't happened, so it's fine. Oh god, for some reason I just wasn't expecting that enemy at all. Okay, cool. I should have gone basically risk my life each time here and pop a pop one of these. We could get a penny here. Good, good. Angel room chance doesn't do much for us. The fifty percent for the chest is pretty good though. But anyways, yeah. How is everybody doing today on this finest of Isaacy days? Nice. On this finest of Isaac -y days, how is everybody getting along? I'm having a pretty good day today. I, uh, I'm recording this straight after my last one. I'm actually um, going away this weekend. Um, so I'm preparing some videos for the weekend. Uh, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'm going to Edinburgh, up to Scotland. Um, because we want to go and see the Christmas markets and uh, just have a, like, have a weekend away. Me, my girlfriend, and a few friends. It's going to be quite fun. I haven't been to Scotland before, so it's going to be interesting. They went um, on a like a work film shoot a while back, like quite a while back now, um, and they really enjoyed it. It's kind of what sort of spawned the uh, idea. Oh, that was a really bad hit there. Kind of what spawned the idea, to be honest. Um, so I was like, yeah, do you know what? Let's uh, let's take a little trip up there. So I'm having to prepare some videos. So for the question of the day today, what's the next trip that you have coming up? Um... Ooh, okay. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, what's the next trip that you have coming up? What's something that you're looking forward to? Okay, let's be a little careful here. Let's take our time with this guy. There you go. Try and get some stuff from the poops here if we can. Nice. Ah, bugger. We do have 15 cent now, so I will just quickly go and check what's going on. Pet Rockfly, do not care. Um... Over here, we want to be going for one... Is it one more player or two more players? Are we, on, are we on player six or seven? We're on player seven, okay. Unfortunately, we didn't get the payout. Basically, that was not really worth anything to us. Unless, of course, we could pay it, play it a few more times and get the... Um, what's it called? Uh, what have we got in here? We got pop. We got that. I think I'm just going to take the um, the sty right now, to be honest. Sty is pretty good. Um, I maybe should have taken the, the thingy though, the eyeglass here. A fancy brooch. Yeah, that, that probably would have been a better idea, to be honest. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, what was I saying? I cannot remember whatsoever. I have completely and utterly forgotten what the hell I was talking about. But yeah, what's a, what's a trip that you've got coming up that you're looking forward to? It's always interesting to know. Ooh, we might be able to afford the brooch, actually, if we, uh, play our cards right here. Let's uh, play this kind of slow and get as much money as we possibly can. Yeah, we can afford it. Nice. I wasn't expecting to be able to afford that. But I think there's the potential for this to be very, very good. Okay, actually, let's leave some pennies on the floor here. Um, Let's buy this. Just because, yeah, so... Spawns an extra item in shops. The items are money-themed. The items being money-themed, I was just about to say, could be super crazy for us. Um, I'll also bomb you two in the hope for some more money. That's a lot of money. Okay, we might be able to get some good stuff going on here. It's a lot of back and forth. It's a lot of traipsing around, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Don't worry. Right, so we go one. We got the troll bombs in there. We might as well stay in here and get rid of them now. Then next time it's the angel. So we want to be hitting it and then getting straight out of the room. I love playing as this character. Grab that. I doubt we're going to be able to afford anything else. Pageant Boy would kind of be an interesting one, but it's quite a high cost for Pageant Boy, considering it might not give us what we want. So now we spawn you, leave, and then the next one is the one that we're looking for. This could give us a good amount of money um, to do whatever we want with, or it could give us a bunch of flies, which honestly... I wouldn't be super displeased with. If we got the if we got the bunch of flies, it wouldn't be the best thing in the world. 
but also it would give us the opportunity to kill the boss pretty fast, which is rather nice as his character, because early on this guy does struggle a little bit, because considering you can't really get hit, so we'll see what we end up getting. We did get the flies, unfortunately, we'd prefer the 30 pennies, but not too bad at all. Like I said, we'll at least get a, a very, 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 very quick boss kill off of the back of this, which is not a bad thing at all. I was kind of hoping to buy Pop, to be honest. Pop would have been a, a pretty fun one to grab. But yeah, I think we played this floor extremely well. I think we gained all the advantages plausible out of this floor. And we can leave with our heads held high and absolutely demolish a boss. Dude, 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 dude. I was not expecting that. I completely forgot you were the version that did that massive dash. Let's be a little careful here. He's going to die pretty quick here, but the dashes are just so aggressive. There you go. And we got um, this here, which would be pretty nice to grab if we can. So let's 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 try it. There you go. Let's grab it. Golden pickup was a golden bomb, which is actually not bad for us to grab at all, because we can go for secret rooms now. Um, ooh. Wasn't expecting to see that. Unfortunately, we can't get that. Oh, shit. I kind of forgot I could get pennies out of those guys. Should really be destroying these fires as well. They can drop pennies. And various other goods. Second secret room, don't let me down. Blank room. Degas. Degas. Mercano. Mercano. And then we'll try and find our crawl space, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend ages trying for it. I'll give it a little look. Go for the quarter here as well, maybe. Yeah, I kinda like taking my time sometimes. Like I, I'm not I'm not much of a min-max. I mean everyone pretty much knows that about me by now. Anyone that watches the channel regularly, I really don't min-max very often. But sometimes the opportunity presents itself and it, it can kind of be fun, especially as characters like this that kind of have a challenge. There you go. Lovely. Um, and unfortunately, nothing worthwhile in, in here. It was good to check, but nothing really worthwhile. I'm just going to quickly check to make sure we don't have any more um, pots. Fortunately, we don't. Quickly check the shop as well. Yeah, nothing in here. And item room. Item room does have a pot. You see? It's worth it. Two extra cent. As this character, not exactly um, <laughs> the best, but we'll take it. Right, not too bad. Uh, did we bomb this guy? We didn't. Beautiful. Got an extra key out of that. And then we had one remaining pot over here, which will give us the quarter, because I know it will. Fuck. <laughs> I hope I always try to will things into existence just on the off chance that it works. We'll go to the downpour here, I think. Um, destroy that bucket. And we'll go. Yeah, really, really, really solid first floor. We got a pretty good uh, amount of items there. We did get an XL floor here, which is really unfortunate because we lose out on a shop. Um, and of course, shops as this guy are very valuable, so a bit sad to lose out on them. We won't go into our item room yet, not until we've got the money to actually afford something within it. Otherwise, there's not much point. Unfortunately, this room was a bit of a bit of a sad state of affairs because all the enemies were completely unreachable for us. You missed, you fool. We can, however, try and get some extra money out of these flies. While it's not guaranteed they'll drop anything, they can. They did not drop anything, sad. We're up to 20 cent already here, but I want to keep my uh, my key for the shop so far. That was a very bad hit by me. We did get a health back there at least. I'll keep that one on the floor, just because uh, I'd rather have some health just lying around in case. Balls. I, I gambled there. It was a bad gamble. But we got the money out of it, so it worked out. 
Right, shop time. Oh, it's already open. I, I kind of forgot about that. Molten dive, of course, fantastic. The sensor, familiar, surrounded by a huge aura. Um, as well as any projectiles. That's really, really good. We'll take that. I don't really get how that counts as a money-themed thing. Um, see, this is kind of tricky because it does damage us. So we have to have money. We have to have money lying around for this to be usable. But I'll pop it. There you go. Um, temporarily par paralyzes you. Gain uh, tears for the room. Tears now lin lin linearly slow enemies. If an enemy is slowed enough, it briefly freezes. Sleeping grants plus one HP. Not all that great. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't super useful. We got two active items. But you can see how it could be useful. Right. Just because we have a devil deal coming up, let's try and get a bit more money. Dun, 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 dun. Does this drop... Will this drop money? I didn't think it would. Oh, we've charmed you. Nice. Don't know why you didn't drop money there. You should have done. Stop slinging your fish around, boys. Stop slinging your fish around. You muscular fellas. Ooh, okay. 33% chance for poops to, um, to spawn. Destroying a black poop has a 5% chance to spawn a black heart. And that is doubled because it's golden. So, of course, black hearts don't really do much for us, but that's still useful. The sensor kind of worked out well there. Oh, sticky nickel? Damn. <laughs> that is a bit upsetting. God damn, yeah, this is... Oh, no. Look, Penny. Oh, no. Nickel. That was upsetting. I really shouldn't have killed those enemies while they were behind that. That was a waste. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Holy hell, that was so risky. I don't know why I risked that. That was such a bad idea. <laughs> such a bad idea. Hey, uh, right. I guess I'll check these out. <laughs> Fat odd mushroom, interesting, not super useful for us. We do have a penny lying on the ground in there. Check my other item room as well. We're basically looking for any items that are like must takes. I don't think I can get that without accidentally buying Taurus, but I'm going to try it. Oh, we did get it. Death Cap. On use, take a bite, take damage, and receive the following. 5% um, chance to fire poison tears. That doesn't seem very good, but it's a quality 3, so maybe it is? Is it one of those ones where I've got to, like, eat the whole thing to get the full effect? Anyways, I've got an active I really like right now, so I'm not going to risk it. I will do that, however, and I got Epiphora, and I got the Apple. Do we have enough to buy a battery? Can we buy a battery? It's also a question that I need to be asking. We cannot. Big sad. Okay, let's just go to our boss. Do I want to step into the Devil Deal? I have enough to buy something, so potentially. But Angel Deals are normally a bit more lucrative as this guy. I'll still leave that on the floor. Okay, we do have the blue version of this guy, which I'm not entirely confident on what that does. We're going to be firing a lot of razor blades here. One sec. Right, sorry, my nose was just very itchy there. I'm trying to pick up these pennies when I can. He's going to stop spawning pennies eventually, but if I can get him, I will. I'm kind of just farming this guy right now, to be honest. He just seems to be normal, but spawns skitters instead of um, whatever. I think he normally spawns uh, leeches, doesn't he? But pretty much no different, really. Did miss out on quite a lot of pennies there. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Okay, I think we're good to go. Not much else that I want here. We could take fat odd mushroom, I guess. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep my money though. Oh, we got another boss anyways. I kind of forgot about that. One second. I completely forgot we had another boss coming our way. Oh, dude. We're going to die to this guy. I just realized I suck at this boss really hard.
Damn you, stop sitting on top of the pennies. Okay, we got a penny, but I instantly got hit. Okay, we managed to kill him. He still got he still, he still fires though, so let's be careful. He didn't drop any pennies on his death. Are you kidding me? Honestly, I'm just gonna take the speed upgrade, because I, I need speed to get coins and not go to the devil deal here. Well, that was scary, and we're only on one penny. Damn it, I should have gone back and picked that one up off the floor. If I die now, it's going to be super stupid of me. Now nah, we're good, we're good. God damn, our shot speed is insane. Like, pushing enemies all over the place. Like, literally all over the place. Do you see that, then? What the hell? What the heck was even that? I managed to push an enemy completely behind rocks. <laughs> Again, we'll leave some pennies on the floor here. Just to, just so we can use our Molten Dime a little more readily without worrying about getting our health back. The money's rolling in right now. You and your big head. No pill for me, thank you. I'm pretty happy with where I sit right now. It's like glitching enemies out as I hit them because they're getting knocked back so much. We're getting lucky with our drops as well right now. Be careful with those guys. There's one more of them, I think. Yeah, there is one more of them. Okay. You dropped a nickel. Oh, that dropped from the poop. I thought it was from the enemy. I rushed to get it. I didn't even need to. Got the boss already here. Ow. Okay, play this carefully because I've already messed up. Whew. Another penny to leave on the floor. I'm messing up a lot right now. This character is just stressful to play as, honestly. So stressful. Oh my god. Oh, that's why we need the speed upgrade. You know, trying to pee on me. God damn, guys. God damn. Yeah, I think we can make some really interesting players with Molten Dime as long as it works to our favor. We essentially just anything we don't want to buy from the shop after, like, after we've got what we want, we then use it. Oh, you dropped another enemy. And a hard one at like that. No, thank you. Right, let's check in here. So, this is another good thing. We didn't actually get an item here because um, we just got unlucky, but we still got an item spawning from the uh, the brooch. Which I don't actually know if it's any good for this character. It, it turns out Trinket's gold. But, like, Trinket's already gold. So I don't even know if that's worth the money. Is Midas Touch good as this character? I think it is, right? But like with this, we could just do that and... Oh, okay. I have to say... This is really cool that we've, like, turned our Keeper into, like, a golden god. Like, we're sparkly and stuff. That's so cool. I love that. <laughs> we are truly a true golden Keeper here. I love that. You are taking some beatings. Okay, let's be careful here because there's a lot of creep about. Look at the fucking knockback. What's going on? It's nuts. Landing a tear on an enemy reduces the time until your next shot. That seems good, right? Oh, damn. That's really good. <laughs> oh, with this tear delay, that's really good. Basically, it turns us into a machine gun as long as we're hitting our shots. That synergizes incredibly well with what we've got going on right now. Wow. Was not expecting that. Look at that. Oh my god. And because we're hitting multiple shots, I think it's reducing it even more. This is so strong. We don't need fire it. One sec. Right, sorry about that. Let's keep going. But yeah, this is an absolutely ridiculous synergy here. I have no idea if this is, like, intentionally designed this way, but it's batshit crazy is what it is. It's absolutely nuts that you can do this. 
I love it. Basically, as long as we're hitting shots, we can fire more shots. That was really dumb. I'm th thankful I didn't accidentally pick up that penny first. Good, good. We got all the money we need, baby. All the money we need. I don't know what these enemies are. I've not seen these before. It'd be good if I didn't walk directly into them, though, wouldn't it? Probably be a better plan than what I've been doing. Goddamn, stop knocking things back so far. Right. We won't bother messing around with Molten Dime on this floor. Let's just get out of here. Try and take our Angel deal. And go. But yeah, this is... This is ridiculous. <laughs> we are gonna melt through bosses, especially if we get some damage ups. We're at base damage right now is the thing. Like, look at this. With a knockback too. The knockback's actually really annoying. I'm not sure what's causing the knockback. It's very frustrating. <laughs> That's really good. Really, really good. And then here we've got Stigma, which honestly isn't amazing. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy it for the damage. And then I'm going to bomb you. Kill you as quickly as I possibly can. Which is pretty quick. And then Molten Dime. Hope for the best. Unfortunately didn't pan out. I'm going to have to trip back really far to grab this, but I'm going to go back and get those two pennies unless, yes, one of you can help me out. Thank you. Right, yeah, Stigmata, not the best for us, but it is a little bit of damage, which with the fire rate we now have is insane. It's just batshit. It's just batshit is what it is. Now, this room scares the bejeebus out of me. Yeah, I was just about to say, this room feels like one that can hurt me very easily. Now, I could just run into things to do, um, to get Midas Touch to proc. It might be a good idea, but honestly, we don't really need money right now. Like, we're, we're fine on money, so I don't have to worry about doing that to gain more. The Emperor, kind of good to, to hold on to, why not? Tears have a high no knockback, but you get knocked by. No. No, thank you. <laughs> I've already got high enough knockback. I've already got high enough knockback, thank you. I will take my leave without adding additional knockback. Look at this, we're just gaining stats as well. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed out on a dime there, because I killed an enemy that I didn't even intentionally mean to kill. Bugger you, I guess. Two back-to-back -back really fun runs here, though. How the hell am I meant to kill you? Oh, I see. There's actually a gap here. I didn't realize there was a gap there for a second. Ooh, that is a trinket that's better than the one I currently have. Most certainly so. Come on, shop. Help me out here. Give me some brilliant. So, we got the spinning penny. Not particularly good. Isaac no longer has movement momentum. Weird. Um, flat one damage up. I'll definitely take that. I guess I'll take the spinning penny as well. And then I've got to pop you. Right, let's get a penny on the floor somewhere. And then we'll uh, try and molten dime this bitch. There's a penny on the floor. Good, good. Probably won't work, but we can hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. But the, just the opportunity to do so is pretty amazing. It's kind of crazy how far out our tears are spawning. Like, we, we fire and they, they, they appear so far away from our body. It's kind of weird. Q. 
get back beans. The spinning pennies just adding even more disappearing consumables to our roster of ones that can appear now. It's pretty funny. We'll take that. I do like the red runes. We can get a fly out of this if we find an item we don't particularly want. Oh, these guys got technology. I've not seen these guys with technology before, actually. That's kind of scary. That's a bit scary. God damn, I love Fiendfolio so much. And I know I've obviously said it a lot, but this game would just not be the same without it. Honestly, sensors are amazing as well. Doing a great job for us. More pennies on the floor. Let's just leave them there. Ooh, you are kind of tricky. Ooh, 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 golden penny. I got it, I got it, I got it. Not that we really need it, but we might as well. Oh, we've got the ability to uh, get up to 99. Why not? Get as close to it, at least, as we can before the boss. It's such a strange item, but so good. You are rewarded for your accuracy. I just can't believe the knockback. It's so insane. And then there's some fire right up, which isn't particularly useful, but I'll certainly take it. Um, Horror of Babylon should just activate, right? Should just activate when we leave this room. And then you, I'm going to take and then red rune. Horror Babylon isn't activating. I thought it would. Maybe I'm incorrect on that. Anyways, down to the next floor. I thought it would just work because we don't have red health, but I guess the coins kind of count as red health. Oh, well. Not, not much lost, so I don't really, don't really care. Oh, God. I got hit there and didn't even realize. Dude, what the hell? Oh, he was one of the champions that spawns another one after he dies. That was close. I did not realize he was one of those. There was a dime there that I missed as well. But bloody hell, game. It's all right, though. We're already at 78 again. We are stacking them up. It's brilliant. Another penny there we can utilize. Oh, hello. Ah. <laughs> Played that a little incorrectly. Killed him while he was over a gap and got literally none of the pennies. Careful of these fellas, because they explode into other enemies. But just, yeah, with Finfolia enemies, they're just so similar to the game. Ooh, that's really good. Really good. When hearts and stuff spawns, it means we'll get double. And I like the idea of that. While the locust is good. Oh my goodness. This is... This is something else. What the hell? I need a lot of keys to open up all of these. And we got latch key out of it, so that's a good amount of keys right there. <gasps> Thank you. I haven't had the clover in so long. And we got a trinket there. Uh, chance for newly spawned item pedestals to be replaced with items you already have. Will not provide you. Um, will not provide you with completely useless duplicates. That, se that seems really cool. I'm going to take that. And then extra damage against bosses. And I think here we go for that. Sadly didn't pay out. But, yeah, this is this is, this is is good. <laughs> this is good. Especially the duplicate thing that just talk spoke about. Imagine if I get, like, the um, Seven Leaf Clover again. Really cool trinket, I've got to say. I absolutely love it. Especially because there isn't only a chance as well. It's not like a guarantee. Um, I'll play this. Consolation prize could be good. I'll only go down to like 60 though. Maybe some extra fire rate. I'll take Squeezy as well for some more fire rate. I'll go down to 50 with this one. Hey, I got it. Nice. We've actually got some okay fire rate as of base now. And then on top of that, we've got the insane glitched fire rate. I'm not, it's not really a glitch, but it feels glitched. 
One sec. Let's keep her going. Gonna play some Warzone 2 after this, my friend. I'm excited. We've been doing really well on it recently. I'm sure very few of you on this channel actually care, um, because most of you aren't going to be into Call of Duty, but I do play quite a lot of Warzone, quite a lot of Call of Duty in general. I played a lot of the Modern Warfare 2 um, multiplayer when it first came out, well, even even up until recently, and I've been playing Warzone 2 now that that's out as well. I used to play Warzone 1 a hell of a lot, and a lot of PUBG prior to that. I've got like 1,100 and something hours in PUBG. It's insane. I played that game a ton. Um... And, uh, yeah, Warzone, I've got about the same in. Damn it. Yeah, I've got, ve like, a lot of hours in Warzone uh, 1. And then in Warzone 2, I've not got, obviously, a lot of hours in it because it's only just come out, but I've been playing it a lot, though. Where's my pennies? There's meant to be some pennies around here. Um, there you go, we got it. And uh, I recently got the um, Overiron Mastery Camo on the multiplayer, which transfers over to Warzone as well, which I was really, really, really pumped about. Like I said, many of you probably won't care. <laughs> I'm sure there's not many of you out there that are playing Call of Duty or Warzone or whatnot, but I don't know, it's a popular game, you might be. Um, and basically, for for anyone that does care, <laughs> or anyone that's just interested in what I'm saying, um, the Orion camo, as it's called, is basically the camo that you get for... Um, the camo that you get for getting every single gun in the game gold and then getting every single gun in the game Platinum, um, and then getting every single gun in the game Polyatomic, as they call it, which is the camo above it, and then you unlock Orion. So you've got to get... To get a gun gold, you've got to get it to max rank, and then you've got to do a few challenges. It'll be like, get 30 kills while crouched, or like 30 prone kills, 30 kills suppressor. Each gun has a different set of challenges. There's like four per gun. And then you've got to get three kills without dying 10 times with that gun. Um... And then you unlock gold. And then once you've got every gun in that category gold, to get platinum, you've got to uh, get 25 long shots with each gun in the category. Um, and then once you've got uh, all of them platinum, not all of them in the category, once you've got all of them platinum, you can start going for polyatomic. And polyatomic is get 25 headshots with every gun. And then once you've got that, you get Orion. And I managed to do that just the other day, which is sad as fuck because the game has been out like a month. <laughs> <laughs> I have done it in a very, very rapid pace because I've been playing that game like there's no tomorrow. Just because I've been really enjoying it. Um, but I, I like going for the camo grinds on uh, on Call of Duty. Like I said, I, I quite enjoy... Can I walk over this? I don't know. I quite enjoy the multiplayers, um, and this one's a particularly good multiplayer, so I've been playing it quite a lot. And I thought, why not just grind out the camos? I'm going to be using all the guns anyways. I want to get them ranked up for Warzone. Why not... Um, why not give it a go at trying out uh, the Orion camo? And it took it took a lot of grinding. I think I think I've got like five days played in the multiplayer, which is obviously a lot for one f five days worth of hours in. Uh, oh god, five days worth of hours played in just one month is a lot. <laughs> but I enjoyed it a lot. I do not regret it. I do not regret it. And the camo is really cool. It basically, if you if you wanna, if even if you don't care about the game. Go and have a little look at what the camo looks like, because it's really cool. Basically, it puts a camo on your gun that looks like a sort of a space nebula, but it, it, it's like animated, it moves, and oh, it, it looks so it looks so nice. There, the, there, has been, there has been previous games that have had nicer looking mastery camos, as they're called, um, but this one's pretty nice. I quite like it. Any that are animated are definitely for me. Um, we need to be careful here, because I could die. we got to fight these. Do you know what? No. I said we got to fight these. I'm not... I'm not playing this bullshit. These enemies aren't fun to fight. <laughs> Get me out of there. I would rather just bomb out of the room. I do not want to fight you. Unfortunately, we've gone the wrong way here, which means we have to bomb back through the room to get out. Which is annoying as well. Actually, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. We just have to complete this room in the middle here. And then go all the way back this way. Extra keys, quite nice. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do hush this time around. I don't think I have any need to. Beautiful. But yeah, some of the retribution items, they seem like... I think it's I think it's kind of the point that some of them are like... 
pretty, like, they're not super great. They're decent, but they're not amazing. But under specific use cases, they can be crazy. Like, I imagine if you've got high fire rate already, this item is good, but not insane. Um, I imagine it's not going to do a ton for you. That was a bad idea. But you gave me a penny on the way out, so that's fine. Uh, I imagine it's not going not to do a ton for you. But under the circumstance that we got it under, where you have really low fire rate, it's absolutely insane. And I love that. Right, push on through. Oh god, the herming. Ooh, I love rooms like this. I have to kill all the hearts to then activate the tree enemy and kill the tree enemy. I love that. Really cool design. So I don't really know what those things in the middle do there. They attach to other enemies, but I'm not really sure what it's doing to the other enemies. Is it giving it more health or more damage or more speed? I, I really have no idea. I've not been hit by any of them that are attached, so I don't really know. I think we're actually on the right track now. It's taken us a little bit to get here. It's been a rather long floor. Oh, it is an XL floor. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I didn't know it was an XL floor. That makes me a little less annoyed. Because we're getting through two wound floors in one go, so... I'd be rather happy about that. Even if we do keep going the wrong way. Fuck! Oh my god, how do I keep going the wrong way this often? He's going to fire Herman, careful. He didn't actually, okay, weird. Right. It has to be this way, right? Yes, okay, good. Oh, hello, where did you come from? Y'all getting smacked around? Nice. I... I don't think we're going to do anything with that. Wow, okay. You were wrecked. I don't know, Hush? We don't really have the keys for Hush. I'm not going to go with Hush. Um, I'll, I'll, just go, I'll just go up. I was tempted by it. We definitely could beat it. But with the health, no real way to get money during the fight. It could end in disaster. I'd rather just go for the guaranteed. You're really going to trap me before... You die, so I have to wait to leave the room. That's just rude. <sighs> yes, we get the banger music again, of course. I keep getting really confused when I start firing and miss a bunch, because I'm like, why aren't I firing very fast? What's going on? And I realize it's because my fire rate is actually relatively low. And this uh, this item's just crazy. Kind of keep forgetting that my entire fire rate is just coming from one particular item. Nice. I think we're going the right way here. Careful of the herming shots here. Don't need any of the money anymore. It's a little bit of a shame with characters like this that their like cool gimmick with the money and stuff kind of goes to waste later on in the game because there's no shops, no way to spend it. The cooler characters like this had the womb shops still available. Although not, not like he needs them. The damage that we're outputting is crazy, so I wouldn't exactly say it's a necessary thing, but... Just be nice to not have the gimmick kind of go away after the first little bit of the run sort of thing. You know what I mean? Feels a little bit sad. It's kind of what Andromeda had an issue with when he first came out. Luckily, the developers uh, listened to some feedback from myself and, of course, probably plenty of other people. And uh, fixed up some of the issues with that. Oh, we got a mega chest there. Oh, there you go. There's one of the duplicated items. Um... No, we don't want that. We only got one duplicated item throughout this run, and it wasn't exactly one that I was looking to duplicate, but hey her, it's pretty cool. It's a really cool trinket anyways. My goodness, what is going on here? I'm just playing it as safe as I can here. I don't really know what's going on. Oh god. Fuck's sake. Is there a penny available anywhere? It looks like there's a penny in this room. There isn't. The game has lied to me. Okay, let's be careful heading into this next room. Fuck me. This is really bad. Okay, we got it. We got it. 
With, with this guy having Herming, I was really scared then that that was going to go really badly. What the heck? You guys took a little bit to settle in there. Speed up don't mean jack shit when I kill you that fast. Okay, just keep powering through. Ooh, a little shop there. I kind of want to open that. Crack that open. Hey, we got double D-pad. That's really cool, that animation, by the way. Another D-pad. That animation's honestly super cool. And yeah, the D-pads do stack pretty well, so let's try and play to the D-pad strength. We'll get a huge damage up if we if we do. Right. Three, two, come on, D-pad, what are you doing? There you go, fucking hell yeah, look at that damage up, that's crazy. My god, look at the amount it knocks these guys around. This is insane. Kind of interesting with this guy that he stays invincible until everything else is dead, including the flies that he spawns. There's the apple. That, for, considering it's just a trinket, and the trinket, like, it's, it's a trinket with only a chance and not, like, a full item, that's a super cool visual effect to add. I, I'm really impressed with that. I'd love to see more of this trinket, to be honest. My Exactly my sort of item. My sort of, like, style of, of thing. Should I say it's not really an item, is it? But yeah, it's exactly my sort of style. I love that. And yeah, the the visual for it is just amazing. I love the fact that it has um, dupe protection on things that, like, wouldn't be useful. It's not just going to duplicate things at random that aren't, actually won't do anything if duplicated. Got another arrow of light. Okay, this is proving to be very, very good now. Our shot speed has reached insane levels. There you go. Get that crazy damage up there. So much, how much fire rate we have, you are on a set timer to die. Oh, 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 oh. That's going to be a bit nutty, isn't it? Especially with the shot speed. Yep. I thought that was going to be crazy. And it very much is. Greedy limpet. Oh my god. Because of all the luck as well. So many razor blades. Why do we have 27 luck right now? What the hell? Anyways, that was pretty good. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.